Okay, so for number eight and 9.2, working with the um, ellipse again, so I recognize that because the x squared and the y squared have positive terms, positive coefficients in front of them. So I'm going to do my completing the square technique. So I'm going to take the 9x squared, and I'm going to put the 36x near it, and then the 4y squared, and the 24y next to that. And remember, the 72 is going to go to the other side, and so that will become positive when you move it to the other side. So with the x values, these x terms, we want to factor the 9 out. So that's going to be x squared. And negative 36 divided by 9 is negative 4. We'll add a new number there. And then I'm going to factor the 4 out. So that's y squared plus 6y. 24 divided by 4 is 6. Some new number there. And then we will have 72 and couple new numbers going in over there. All right, so with the uh, new b value, if you will, you take the negative 4, you divide by 2, I get negative 2. I'm going to put that in parentheses, square, and I get 4. So if I put a 4 here, check out front, remember, that's a 36 technically, so I'm going to add 36 over here. And then I take my 6 and divide by 2, and I get 3 squared is 9. So I'm going to put a 9 here, which is 36. So I'll add a 36 over there. And so now I'm looking at 9. x is my variable in the first parentheses, and this negative 2 is going to be used for that doing the y and I have a positive 3 right there so I put that in and 36 and 36 is 72 and 72 and 72 is 144 so remember with the ellipse what we'll want to do is divide by 144 so that I have it equal to 1 and when you divide these two things by 144 uh, 9 over 144 would be you hit math, enter, enter on your calculator, you're going to get 16. So this is x minus 2 squared. I'll put the 16 on the bottom. You do not need to write the 1 out front. Um, it, would, it just wouldn't do anything anyway. And then over here, um, 4 over 144 would give you a 36. So this would be y plus 3 quantity squared over 36. And so there's your standard form. And now we have to go and find the center and everything else. So my center will be 2, negative 3. Um, don't forget to do the opposite of what's in parentheses. And then if I was going to do... Um, my vertices, remember the vertices will come from the larger denominator. And because those are under y, I would take the square root of 36, which is 6. So that means I'm going to go up and down 6 from my center. So if my center is at a dot that's 2, negative 3, and I go up 6, and I go down 6, I'm going to be at 2, negative 9 and I'm going to be at 2, positive 3. So when you go to type these in, you should do the smaller one first. So the smaller value for me is 2, negative 9, and the larger y value is 2, positive 3. And then they don't want co-vertices, so we don't have to worry about going left or right. Now we're going to do the focus, the foci. So that's going to go... Remember, the c value will be the square root of the big denominator minus the small denominator. And so my c value is 36 minus 6 is the square root of 20, which can be written 4 times 5. So technically, my c value is 2 root 5. Now, you can 
On WebAssign, you can leave it the square root of 20, but you're gonna go up, up the square root, um, two root five, and down two root five. So you're gonna add and subtract that to the center two negative three, right? So we're gonna use that two negative three. So if I go down, I would say two comma negative three minus two root five. And then I would say two comma negative three plus two root five. And again, if you just wanna subtract square root of 20 and subtract and add the square root of 20, that will work. But you add it and subtract it to your y value because the major axis was running up and down. Then eccentricity is that C over A. So my C value is two root five or the square root of 20. And the A value is the distance that you're moving up and down on the major axis. So that's gonna be six. So technically, if you reduce, you would have root five over three. And then if you're going to find your um, ellipse, you have to go to the right two and down three. So it's not sideways. So it's one of these two at the top. And then you can see that this one is shifted. You know, this one is shifted to the wrong spot. So it's for me, it's this one in the top left corner.